shut the highway down. I don't know if you can see me, but it's about 5.30 in the morning and someone just crashed into our car, which we parked on PCH because the work has been done on the street. The guy hit a telephone pole, spun out, and uh, rammed into uh, Sean's car. So, Sean, if you're watching this right now, sorry, buddy, we're gonna have to get you a new car. All the cars are coming down our street now on the PCH. There's electricity that's going across the highway right over here, right there. And now all the cars are coming down our street. Every bit of PCH is coming down our street. Interesting morning. into by the young guy who fell asleep at the wheel. Went all the way over here, that's him. Crashed into the Jeep and into this van right here. Just called Sean, he's in uh, Atlanta. He's coming back on Friday from uh, Black Panther, which is what he's working on. And everybody's good. the new mini PCH. Yes, that's for us. That's about it. There's my souvenir. Uh, right off the Jeep. Tallest tow truck driver ever. How tall are you? I am 6'11". Jeez. Yes. 1% of the population on Earth. You don't even need a tow truck. I don't. I pick up the cars and then, yes. For safety, I do in my back, my lower back, yeah. Yes, yeah. Ryan from Malibu Towing. He's going to be taking the, uh, the Jeep away, you know, to the salvage yard. If any of you uh, want a Jeep, you know, or something like that, don't then, uh, you know, shoot us an email. We'll hook you up. All right. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. This Jeep for a very long time, done a lot of stuff with it. Yeah. Any final words? No. I love that Jeep.
construction has begun. It's about 7.30 now. It's been quite a morning. It should be quite an interesting day. Interesting day, interesting morning. Uh, it's still pretty early. We decided that uh, we wanted to get out of here. They're doing construction on the street. Uh, I think we need to go get some breakfast. So Kathy and I, we're gonna jump in the truck. We're gonna grab our buddy Bob and we're gonna go to Paradise Cove and get some French toast, maybe. Good to go. day. Just want to go swimming. Paradise Cove is cool. We're going to walk down to the beach, one of the big stairs straight ahead. They're already replacing the telephone pole. Man, they're fast. Awesome. Lots of construction in front of the house. And nobody around. I think they're all having lunch somewhere. They weren't at the hamburger stand. <laughs> they weren't there. There's a pit. Ah. I don't want to fall in it. I'm going over here. That's what it looks like to be these guys. That's old Malibu down there. What a day, what, what an unusual day. There's really only one way to look at what happened today, but let me give you guys kind of a, a, a once over as to what happened from the beginning. 
They've been doing construction on our street for the last week or so, and they're making their way down the street. Now they're in front of our house. As a result of that, yesterday, we had to move our cars. Now we decided to put one car down on the highway and then one car down the street a little ways. Uh, the one car on the highway was the Jeep. The truck we put down the street, uh, we didn't have any other cars that have come from manufacturers recently, so we didn't have to move anything from them. All the while, uh, putting the car on the highway, that's just something I'm not necessarily comfortable with. If I can avoid parking on the highway, I do that. Because basically PCH is a, a freeway with stop signs. Well, it's a freeway with stop signs and people walking their dogs. And, and, and it's, a, it's a freeway with stop signs, people walking their dogs and people riding their bikes. And then there's people crossing the, over the highway and there's people on their cell phones and there's people doing all kinds of things that you wouldn't do on a freeway, but they do it on PCH. So about 4.30 this morning, Kathy and I hear this crashing sound. Not a normal crashing sound like two cars hitting each other, more of a thumping, shattering, crunching sound kind of the sound of a car hitting something else. Now, I didn't think of this at first. I didn't think anything other than there's been lots of accidents on PCH and this just happened to be another one. I was hoping that certainly there was no one gonna be hurt. Looked out the window, we saw lots of cars going by on PCH and going around something, but we couldn't see what it was. And to my surprise, nobody stopped. People just kept on driving. So I decided to hop it and run it down there, uh, put on some clothes, uh, whip down there. And as I was running, it suddenly dawned on me that the Jeep was parked on the highway. At that point, I knew. I knew that something had happened. I didn't know what it was or how, the extent of it. So the basic skinny of this was there was a gentleman that was heading south on PCH. It was going the speed limit. It was no problem. He just fell asleep at the wheel and drifted over into the oncoming lanes. Fortunately, there was no cars that were coming north. Otherwise, he would have hit somebody. But he hit a telephone pole, took that out. I th actually think that he jumped the curb, hit the telephone pole a little bit high based on the fact that the telephone pole was in about four or five pieces. Right through the telephone pole, crashed onto the highway and went face first right into our Jeep. That Jeep kind of condensed like an accordion, uh, hit a Chevy camper van right behind us and shoved those cars about maybe 10, 12 feet. Now you can look at this, this whole situation in a lot of ways, but in my view, there's really only one way to look at it. And that is through gratitude. I'm grateful that the guy didn't die or get hurt. I'm grateful that he didn't hit anybody or cause them to die or get hurt. I'm grateful that I didn't park the truck behind the Jeep, which was my initial intention. I'm grateful it was 4.30 in the morning and there was no one out there walking their dog. They're just things. They're just things. Uh, the thing that really matters is life and how we approach it. And, and you gotta understand, the, the guy didn't do anything wrong, he just fell asleep. There are many, many things to be grateful for in this life. In fact, there's so many things that you couldn't possibly count them. But let today's vlog be kind of a lesson that, you know, you, you, you gotta go out there and you gotta hug your kids. You gotta go hug your parents. You gotta go uh, uh, get out in nature. You gotta do what you love. It's so important to be able to infuse as much of what you love into your life and give yourself as much joy so you can extract the most out of it because you never know what might be around the corner. Okay, that's it, people. Uh, you know, interesting vlog today. We got something really cool that's gonna be showing up tomorrow. We also have locked in our first sponsor for the truck. That's MKWL wheels. We picked out a gorgeous set of rims and we're going to go picking them up. We're going to be taking you guys along with us so you're going to get a chance to see all their cool stuff. And if you want to see what they have right now, it's MKW Alloy. A-L-L-O-Y right here. Very cool. Thanks for joining us in our sandbox. Lots of other stuff coming. Oh, yes. <laughs>